I'd like to tell you about this uh, battery cell that uh, I've become quite interested in. It's a iron carbon battery. It utilizes steel wool for the negative electrode and carbon felt for the positive electrode. It has an acrylic felt separator. It uh, uses iron 2 chloride uh, for the electrolyte and uh, uh, it uh, has uh, graphite foil for current collectors. Now, this particular cell is 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters. That's a, a 2 by 2 inches. And uh, I first saw this cell on William Hatta's YouTube channel. Uh, he built and demonstrated uh, essentially the same battery. Uh, his had some notable differences in that he was using uh, uh, an iron or steel uh, foil or, or plate uh, with a carbon powder uh, as the positive uh, electrode. Uh, he was also using uh, iron 3 chloride as the electrolyte whereas, as I mentioned, this is using uh, iron 2 chloride. Um, I actually decided to use uh, iron 2 chloride. Uh, I started off with iron 3 just as a replication of, uh, uh, just to replicate uh, the cell uh, William had uh, built and demonstrated. Uh, but uh, for anybody who's uh, played with iron 3 chloride and uh, finely divided iron such as uh, that in uh, fine steel wool you'll quickly realize that uh, uh, you'll have a lot of heat on your hands that is a very exothermic uh, reaction between iron 3 chloride and uh, finely divided iron I think uh, it probably didn't uh, uh, become a, uh, a real noticeable issue for uh, William Hatta because he uh, was using an iron plate and uh, perhaps uh, it wasn't reacting as fast uh, to the iron plate. Uh, when I used it, uh, most of my uh, containment uh, vessels uh, that happened to be plastic at the time uh, melted into a puddle. Um, in any case, uh, in a later video, uh, I'm going to uh, take this uh, apart, show you the uh, uh, how it's constructed uh, in, in more detail. Uh, it's not a complicated structure. Uh, I'm holding the active materials uh, sandwiched by uh, uh, two acrylic uh, plexiglass, whatever you want to call it, uh, plates. Uh, uh, and uh, holding those together with paper clips. What I what I uh, so I'll, I'll uh, hopefully do that in a in a follow up video. What I'd like to do now is uh, to put this on charge, uh, show you that process, and uh, uh, and then discharge the battery. Uh, now I'll be doing that with an electronic load. Um, the one that I'm using at the moment and one that uh, many people who build these types of experimental cells uh, and perhaps uh, watch these videos will be familiar with. It's the uh, electronic load uh, built by uh, ZKE. It's the EBD-USB Plus uh, electronic load. And of course it's associated software uh, which is uh, uh, I'll be running on the PC and uh, and displaying the uh, output uh, uh, as it charges and, and as, it's, as it discharges. So let's get to that now and uh, see how this, uh, see what this battery can do. I've charged the battery. Uh, I've actually overcharged it a little bit. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, we're touching uh, just over three hours of charge. I only meant to go to about two and a half hours. Nevertheless, uh, this is where we are. We're currently at 1.565 volts, and the battery is drawing uh, 43 milliamps. So at this point, uh, I'll uh, stop the charge 
set it up for a discharge and uh, we'll get a sense of uh, uh, what the battery can actually uh, uh, do. Okay, I've just started uh, the discharge. Battery voltage is currently at 1.120. I'm discharging it initially uh, only at uh, 50 milliamps. And uh, that's typically where I, uh, or what I use in terms of a, a constant current load to uh, discharge these batteries at. Um, what I think I'll do after we see the results of this discharge is uh, uh, play around with uh, loading the battery at various uh, different loads and uh, that'll give you uh, an appreciation for what it can actually handle in terms of uh, in terms of load uh, and uh, uh, but we'll get to that after we do this uh, uh, basic uh, longer term discharge. So I'll bring you back uh, uh, after we've uh, uh, completed this and uh, evaluate the uh, the energy uh, output by the battery. Discharge is finished and as you can see uh, it ran for uh, 5 hours 46 minutes and uh, change energy output uh, 264 milliwatt hours uh, and uh, 289 milliamp hours So we'll leave it there for now. Um, what I'd like to do, what I will do now uh, uh, for, uh, for the next video is to uh, charge it up again and do some uh, slightly uh, experimental uh, uh, discharges on the battery and what I mean by that is to uh, uh, on a full charge, uh, discharge it at a variety of different uh, 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 loads and uh, we'll start with something like an amp and uh, see how it performs at that uh, level of uh, loading and, uh, and uh, proceed from there.